Yes, hello. Good evening, Lynn. <laughs> Good evening. Yes. Can you hear me well? Yes. Okay, how about my video? Is it clear? Yes. Yeah. So how are you today, Lynn? I'm good. And you? Good. <laughs> I'm also great. Thank you for asking. So what did you eat for dinner? Uh, I have been... I had? Dinner. You haven't? Yes. Not yet? Ah, oh, why? It's quite late already. Oh, wait. It's still seven, right? In your country. In my country, in Philippines, it's almost 9 p.m. Yeah, so what do you want to eat for dinner? I'm losing weight. You're losing weight? Yes. So that's the reason why you didn't eat dinner, right? So yeah. you're not planning to eat dinner? Yeah. <laughs> So you will just drink water, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But anyway, drink water, okay? <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Lynn, are you ready for the class? Yes. Ready? Because um, after this one, this is the last page of Unit 3. So we will have your um, unit test, okay? Yes. Yeah. All right. So I gave you this one as your homework. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's check. Number one is already done for you, right? Now I want you to answer number two. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry about my voice right now. I am still sick. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So, number two, please answer. Go. The man with the beard is reading news. Okay. Number three. The children who are sitting on the floor uh is playing or, okay are uh, playing toys playing. okay toy planes good job how about number four the girl who's crying is sitting on the chair <laughs> okay Wearing, <laughs> but actually ben. that's right, sitting on the bench. And, oh, number five. <laughs> so do you have the same answer? The yeah. woman, yes, with the suitcases has the got woman. two signs. Yeah. Do you have your own answer there or the same? The same. Ah, okay, the same answer. All right. So actually, this is the last page, but not see you next time because we still need to answer your unit test, okay? Yeah. All right. So let's start now. So flyers test one because I wasn't able to give, give you the other test, right? So let's start on test one, okay? Yes. So, in this test, Lynn, you will have the listening, um, also reading, and speaking, okay? For writing, we yeah. cannot do that, so our teacher will just write it, okay? And you just need to give your answer. Ready? Let's start now. Can you see it clearly? Is it clear? Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's clear. So I will repeat it twice or click the play button twice and you will give me your answer, okay? Let's start yeah. now.
Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. This is a busy street, isn't it, Aunt Emma? Yes. This is the village where I live. Can you see the woman who's wearing that long scarf? The one who's walking with her dog? Yes. Do you know her? Yes, I do. That's Vicky. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Can you see the woman who's selling flowers? Oh, yes. She's standing under a big umbrella. She's my friend. What's her name? It's Katie. And across the road, I can see her husband. The man with the striped T-shirt? Yes, that's him. He's got a big shopping bag. Is he going to the supermarket? I think so. His name's David. He's very friendly. Can you see the man who's reading the newspaper? Oh, yes. The one who's waiting at the bus stop. Is he a businessman? Yes. That's Richard. He lives near me. And who's that man? That man who's washing his car? Sorry, I don't know him. No, the other man. The one with the suitcases. Oh, that man on the bridge? That's Paul. Is he going on holiday? Yes, I think so. And do you see the woman with the red sweater? Yes, she's standing at the corner of the street. No, not her. The one who's washing the windows. Oh, yes. Do you know her too, Aunt Emma? Yes, her name's Claire. She comes and cleans mine too. She works really hard. She's amazing. Now listen to part one again. Can you see the woman who's selling flowers? Oh, yes. She's standing under a big umbrella. She's my friend. What's her name? It's Katie. And across the road, I can see her husband. The man with the striped T-shirt. Yes, that's him. He's got a big shopping bag. Is he going to the supermarket? I think so. His name's David. He's very friendly. Can you see the man who's reading the newspaper? Oh, yes. The one who's waiting at the bus stop. Is he a businessman? Yes. That's Richard. He lives near me. And who's that man? That man who's washing his car? Sorry, I don't know him. No, the other man. The one with the suitcases. Oh, that man on the bridge? That's Paul. Is he going on holiday? Yes, I think so. And do you see the woman with the red sweater? Yes, she's standing at the corner of the street. No, not her. The one who's washing the windows. Oh, yes. Do you know her too, Aunt Emma? Yes, her name's Claire. She comes and cleans mine, too. She works really hard. She's amazing. That is the end of part one. OK. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, so let's start. 
Give me a name and then tell me. Ah, wait, I need to put a number first, okay? <laughs> All right, so this is number one, two, three. So she's number four, five, six, seven. This is seven. She's eight. Can you see the numbers, Lynn? Yes. 10 and 11. Okay. So where is Katie? Uh, Katie is number three. Okay, Katie is number three. All right, next one. Where is David? David uh, is number. David is number five. Number five. Okay, David is number five. Okay, next one we have Richard. Where is Richard? Richard is number seven. Okay, Richard is number seven. Okay, next one, we have Paul. Where is Paul? Paul is number 10. Paul is number 10. Okay, next one. Um, Claire. Claire. Claire is number 8. Okay, Claire is number 8. Okay, actually, you got everything correctly. Wow. Three, four, five. So, in here, test one, you get five over five, okay? Yes. Yeah. Good job, Lynn. So, are you ready for the next listening test? Yes. Yes, okay. Let's start. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Grandpa. I'd like to ask you some questions about the airport where you work. Okay, that's fine, Sarah. Is this for your homework? Yes. So where is it? It's in the north of the city. Wait a minute. I need a pencil. Okay, I'll write it down. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Now, what's the name of the airport? Well, it's called Cleden Airport. How do you spell that? C-L-E-D-O-N? That's right. How many planes ride there every day? Is it more than 200? Oh, yes. I read that it's 320. Wow. Yes. Lots of interesting people from other countries arrive at this airport. So, have you seen any famous pop stars? No, but I often see film stars. They come here to make movies. Great. And where can you eat there? Well... There's a very nice cafe. The pancakes there are brilliant. Cool. I love those. And is there a hotel where people can stay at the airport? Yes. There's a very big one. It's got lots of flags outside. That's interesting. Okay. Thanks, Grandpa. I've got enough to write about now. Now listen to part two again. Now, what's the name of the airport? Well, it's called Cleden Airport. How do you spell that? C-L-E-D-O-N? That's right. How many planes ride there every day? Is it more than 200? Oh, yes. I read that it's 320. Wow. Yes. 
Lots of interesting people from other countries arrive at this airport. So, have you seen any famous pop stars? No, but I often see film stars. They come here to make movies. Great. And where can you eat there? Well, there's a very nice cafe. The pancakes there are brilliant. Cool. I love those. And is there a hotel where people can stay at the airport? Yes, there's a very big one. It's got lots of flags outside. That's interesting. Okay, thanks, Grandpa. I've got enough to write about now. That is the end of part two. Okay. Do you want to repeat one more time? Um, no. Okay, you have your answers there, right? All right, so yes. can I have your first answer, number one? Name of the airport. Just spell it out. Go. Uh, C-L-E-D-O-N. Okay. Number two? Number of planes uh, which arrive every day? Mm, uh, 320. How about number three? Sarah's grandpa often sees famous? Uh, he often sees famous stars. Stars. Okay. And number four? Yeah, what do you think uh, is the answer? Uh, In the cafe, uh, you can eat excellent. Eat excellent uh, pancake. Okay. Pancake? Uh, All right. Really and brilliant. And <laughs> outside, outside the hotel, you can see lots of... Lots of large of flags. Outside. Flags. Okay, flags outside. All right, so let's just check this one quickly because it's already time. Okay, number one. Yeah, yeah this is correct. 320 stars or film stars. Okay, pancakes, but I will accept this one. And flags. Wow, you got 5.5. So on Wednesday, right? Wednesday is our next class. Yeah. Wednesday, you will yeah. have the reading and writing. But for writing, maybe I will let it, I will let you type it, okay? Yeah. Type or just tell me, okay? So, yeah. yes, you have five over five. Good job. And we will just continue on Wednesday. Okay, Lynn? Yeah. All right. Bye, Lynn. Bye. <laughs>